It's hard to imagine, but it's already 2024. And while we've been amazed by all the AI systems like ChatGPT, we've been left wondering why Siri, Alexa, and Google Home seem to lag behind. Well, that might be about to change drastically. First, let's talk about the big news that everybody's buzzing about. Apple is reportedly working on a massive update to Siri that they're about ready to launch and talk about at WWDC here in June of 2024. And this isn't just a simple update. We're looking at an entirely new transformation from the ground up of Siri using an internally codenamed large language model called Ajax. And the expectation is that Siri is going to have the ability to not only understand, but also have the responsiveness of something like ChatGPT. And that's a game changer. And Apple's goal here is clear. Their ambition is to make Siri the ultimate personal assistant. And it makes sense that this upgrade is coming at this time. This is not only something that allows them to catch up to and even surpass a lot of their competitors, but it's also gonna be a huge selling point for the upcoming iPhone 16. And this new Siri is expected to be more adept at understanding natural language, a significant step up from the current version that honestly is sort of trash. But Apple isn't gonna stop there. Think about the potential for this integration across the various Apple applications like Pages, Keynote, even Apple Music. This could fundamentally change how we interact with our devices, how user interfaces are designed, making all of our applications not only more intuitive to use, but also more powerful in completing complex tasks. And all of this has required a major breakthrough from Apple's research teams. You see, the way a large language model works, it normally has to fit completely into memory, something like RAM, or in most cases, VRAM that sits directly on a CPU, or a GPU. And the problem with that is, while it's commonplace to have 16, 32, even 64 gigabytes of RAM on a home PC, that's not common on an iOS device, on a cell phone. Cell phones have limited memory. So if you load a large language model on a phone, you're not gonna have enough room to do things like play games or process videos or even take photos. And so what Apple researchers have done is they've figured out a way to actually run a large language model on flash memory instead of being directly into RAM. Now this might mean that older Apple devices don't actually see this update. It's unclear if there are any hardware changes that are gonna need to come about in order to make this happen. And what's really exciting here is when you think about Apple's broader vision for artificial intelligence. They're not just looking at language models. They're also exploring multimodal AI models that are able to take in images and even videos. This means we could eventually see Apple devices interacting with us in ways that we've only experienced in sci-fi movies. I think at this point, it's pretty well known that Apple and Google and Amazon are all playing catch up with ChatGPT and OpenAI, but I think 2024 is going to be the year that we start to see some major changes from all these tech giants. And we start to get some of that kind of magical technology that we've all hoped for for the past several years. I know I'm definitely going to be tuned into WWDC 2024, and I hope you'll come back and check out the videos I do when all of this is finally announced. As always, I'm Brian Lovett. This is All Your Tech AI. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.